Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. This is gonna be good for Aries with placements Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If this does not resonate with you, uh, make sure you check out your other placements for additional messages. Energies can be interchangeable because this is a general reading, so I could be speaking to you or the cross watcher or the person that you're dealing with. So just take the messages how they resonate, uh, swap them if the roles need to be reversed. And with that, let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm gonna be doing past, present, and future energy. These two just flipped over. So uh, for some of you, you may have children or children could be affecting your connection one way or another. Some of you may be finding out that you're pregnant. Some of you may be dealing with someone where there's an age difference involved here. I feel like you've been through a lot of challenges with the person that you're dealing with, but there's definitely an energy here of someone not wanting to give up yet. Like the fight isn't over. Someone's still willing to put work into this. I don't know if that's you or your person, but let's go ahead and take a look for past energies for Aries. Uh, some of you may have gotten ghosted or you ghosted someone recently I'm getting. That could be a thing for you guys. You may be questioning or they may be questioning why someone got ghosted or you feel like there's no closure with someone is what i'm picking up on what happened in the recent past for aries sun moon raising venus what happened in the recent past for aries recent past for aries some of you are dealing with someone uh that you are married to you were married to it could be a twin flame connection for some of you, but that won't be fitting for all of you. Some of you could be going through a divorce, possibly, or a separation with someone. Uh, could be dealing with another Aries, or that's that age difference I was picking up on. Could definitely be dealing with a water sign as well, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But in your recent past, I feel like you were moving towards a new beginning in love, moving towards a new opportunity. Uh, you, do, you definitely have love for this person overwhelming emotions for this individual and if you weren't married to them and this person's not married then you saw that with this person and you were seeking out a new beginning or seeking out new love but there's a lot of internal conflict that came with this okay so someone here has a hard time opening up someone here has a hard time expressing how they feel i feel like someone here that you were dealing with really was trying to resist your connection is what i'm getting current energy for aries current energy for aries page of swords yeah undecided there's a lot of uh, external factors that are affecting this connection dark night of the soul someone here feels very disconnected empty this could be your guys's energy very much so feeling disconnected right now Okay, some of you may be trying to find more information out or figure out exactly what happened in this connection. This could be the person you're dealing with. Take it how it resonates. In your near future, there's that Nine of Wands energy again. So someone here is not willing to completely give this up. Someone's still wanting to battle it out is what I'm hearing. There's fears of losing you or you have fears of losing this person is what I'm getting. Hmm. Give me one more for three of pentacles okay so you could have met this person at work through work aries you could have been in a third party situation definitely with the three of pentacles i feel like wow some of you are dealing with a karmic connection very toxic this feels like a, a burden for you this person from your past this connection they could have been deceptive towards you also things could have moved forward very slow with this individual okay so it does feel like a very toxic connection this person that i'm picking up on but in in your recent past you you started a new beginning in this connection or you were interested in finding something new or having a new start you may be trying to figure out what this person's up to with the page of swords here because you feel like there's no closure someone here feels very empty very going through a really hard time with the dark night of the soul here interesting all right let's take a look let's start clarifying 
Yeah, look at that, Ten of Wands again. This connection with this karmic partner has been very burdensome for you. It's been a lot. You've had to carry a lot of weight on your shoulders. It feels very one-sided. It feels like, it feels very toxic. And I, I don't know how else to say that because that's the word that I keep getting. That's the word that keeps coming up for me. So you decided to walk away. You were this person. Someone here is definitely walking away from something, from a karmic partner that was overwhelming here in the overall energy. It may be very difficult uh, in doing that. Some of you may be going back to something from your past or someone from your past here. Walking away from the situation from the past and closing out that cycle I'm getting for some of you. What is this four of wands? Some of you were definitely married to this person or in a long-term commitment. Could have lived together, I'm getting. Could be dealing with somebody with light colored hair. Or that could be you, Aries. Okay, so could be dealing with a Scorpio, but you don't have to be. I feel like this connection, for those of you who had a new start in a connection, I feel like the lessons were not learned necessarily like the somebody here was it was very one-sided somebody here was putting in the work and the other person wasn't i feel like it was very difficult for you to end this connection with them and again i'm getting divorced some of you could be going through a divorce or waiting for a divorce to finalize there's definitely an energy here of waiting so in your recent past yeah you're very conflicted in making this decision very conflicted in making this final call reevaluating the past uh taking a look back taking stock of what you invested in this connection, the seeds that you've planted, what's transpired between the two of you. There's the nine of wands again. But you weren't ready to give it up completely. You were ready to have a new beginning with this person, to work together with this person, to try to make it work. You guys were holding on to the idea of this, Aries. You were your person. Ace of Cups. Can you clarify the Ace of Cups, please, for Aries? Yeah, look at that. You thought that this had potential to be something solid, something stable here. But it did bring in a lot of anxiety, worrying. That ties into this dark night of the soul energy. It is carrying on into your current energy. So you may be experiencing, or you have in the past, anxiety, depression, fears, worry in regards to this connection. Okay, so I like to see this here, the Empress. Okay, this person could have been in and out of your life. It could have been a very on and off again situation. Sagittarius energy for me. Uh, also player type of energy. This person could have played games with you or you felt that way. You felt like it was necessary and time for you to put yourself first. Some of you could definitely have children. You could be dealing with someone who you have children with. But that is showing up here as well. What is this Page of Swords? Libra, Taurus energy. Page of Swords. Why is, so you have the Page of Swords in your current energy. You may have found something out. Some sort of secret may have been exposed here. There's definitely a lack of stability in this connection at this time. There's a lot of fears, though, surrounding the unknown. Interesting. So some of you may be finding something out about this person that brings in a lack of stability in this connection. I'm hearing it's not what you thought it was going to be. Clarify the moon. Some of you guys are definitely finding something out about a person that you're dealing with, and it causes some sort of abrupt ending, or there's some sort of uh, it could be with a Pisces or a Scorpio again, but it could cause some sort of abrupt ending, cutting off communication with this person. I do see that here. What is this undecided card? This is in the middle of your reading, so I feel like a lot of you are in a space of feeling like there is no closure, feeling like what's what's next? This could be you or your person, yeah. But you feel very, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, feel very attached to the situation, to this person. Very, very attached. They're very tempting for you. This is something that you may keep to yourself. You may not really talk to people about it. I'm also hearing it could be a secret connection as well for some of you. But whatever it is, there's a lack of stability in this connection. And I feel like you guys in the past were really hoping for this to bring in some sort of stability. And there was a lot of anxiousness surrounding that. 
Ace of Swords. So there is clarity here. There is a breakthrough coming when it comes to this connection. Could definitely be with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the King of Cups here. Uh, yeah, communication could come through with this person. You could have an option between two people. But I feel like there is some sort of communication coming through that does bring you clarity on whatever is transpiring right now in your current energy. What is this dark night of the soul? You may feel very disconnected, empty, very disappointed. I'm hearing this could bring in a lot of pain for you as well. Aries, what is this dark night of the soul? Dude, okay, some of you could receive some sort of communication from this person, find something out about the situation, and it really it's like heartbreaking is what i'm getting you guys may be trying to move into a space of being single independent i'm hearing some of you may be trying to like dive into work to not really think about this but i do see a dark night of the soul here feeling empty without this person walking away from this person I feel like on the surface you try to play it off like you're in the space of the nine of pentacles which is you're fine, you're single, you're stable, you have your pentacles, you have everything together, but beneath all of that, there's a dark night of the soul here. See, and then the high priestess, but you hold that back. It could be dealing with the Pisces. All right, let's take a look at your immediate future. Nine of Wands. Someone here is not ready to give this up. There's a lot of fear surrounding uh, this ending here. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a twin flame connection. Queen of Cups, King of Swords, hmm, could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but somebody here is not ready to give this up. They still want to put work into this. There's still emotions here. I do feel like someone, one of you is coming off very cold and detached, uh, head over heart decisions here. But ultimately, still wanting to put work into this is coming in still wanting to put work in this maybe being at a crossroads needing to make a decision what is this uh fear of losing you someone here has fears of losing you aries because you're a wish fulfillment for them nine of cups what is this nine of cups for aries nine of cups immediate future ace of wands Six of Cups. Someone from your past is coming back. Someone from your past that has a fear of losing you. Uh, this person has brought you a lot of pain, especially when you had to walk away from this. It could have happened very sudden, unexpected. There's some sort of new start with this person. Okay, let's see. Three of Pentacles. This is uh, working together. This could be somebody that you work with, somebody that you met through work. What is this Three of Pentacles? But this is you guys collaborating, building together. What is this Three of Pentacles? Could be going with a Taurus, but you don't have to be. I also see Virgo, Gemini. So you guys are, again, reevaluating things, thinking about the past, taking stock. Someone is definitely making you an offer, something that you've been wishing for. I feel like a lot of you are going to be taking a risk on that. Uh, possibly a choice between two people. After a period of being very disconnected, going within. I do see a commitment coming. Somebody here has been, I'm hearing like a commitment phobe. Somebody here could have had a lot of trigger surrounding having a commitment in this connection. You definitely have someone here from your past returning. What is the Six of Cups? Can you please clarify the Six of Cups for Aries? Yeah, it's this water sign. Look at that with a new beginning, a new offer. It could be a Pisces, strong Pisces here. Wow, look at that. Holy cow, you guys. It could happen very unexpected. Six of Cups, Two of Cups, the High Priestess, Ace of Cups, and the King of Cups. You guys have someone returning from your past that really wants a new beginning with you. There's a lot of love here. You have the King and Queen of Cups. This is your, this is your match. This is uh, deep love, deep emotions for this person. There's a new beginning here. But you may have to make a decision between two people, or they do. Interesting. All right, let's take a look. Let's continue. Aries. Aries, the moon raising Venus. Aries. 
Aries. You guys may be in separation, may not uh, be in contact right now. This person knows that they put you through a lot. And I do see that with the nine of wands here. Um, I'm afraid to reach out. This person has a lot of fears in reaching out to you. But they keep track of you online. They watch you. They may have tried to keep you at... In, in a, there could have been a situation where they may have tried to play it off. That's that commitment issues energy that I'm getting where it wasn't anything serious. But beneath that, you guys have a deep emotional spiritual connection. What else for Aries? We will be together again. This could have been some sort of friends with benefits situation as well. This person could have played a lot of mind games with you or have a lot of narcissistic traits I'm getting. Um, yeah, this person's finally waking up to your connection. It's too hard to let you go. Okay. Um, interesting. So let's see. What would this person say to you, Aries? What does this person want to say? Whoa, 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 whoa. What does this person want to say to you? What does this person want to say to Aries? What does this person want to say to Aries? You speak to me through music, so there could be songs uh, that remind them of you or vice versa. I couldn't let you get too close to me. That's that commitment phobe energy I was feeling. Somebody here has a lot of fear surrounding opening up and being vulnerable. I want to feel that way again. You make this person really happy, Aries. 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 What would they say to Aries? I don't react when people mention you. Someone here is trying to play it off. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I look for you everywhere. Interesting. For Aries. I wish I could share my good news with you. For those of you I'm reading for, you're definitely in separation with this person. So many things remind me of you. I lost myself for a little while. Finding out the truth crushed me. I want you. I know I messed everything up. Okay, so I'm getting, there's some sort of truth that comes out in this connection that causes an abrupt ending. Someone here is definitely going through a dark night of the soul situation here uh, where it's like feeling very empty, disconnected, depressed, uh, losing themselves. There's, this causes like a depression, uh, a very painful situation. But I do see light at the end of the tunnel, somebody coming out of this. There is an offer from someone from your past, this deep soulmate connection that you have with this person. I'm getting very strong water sign. Virgo's here as well. Uh, there's a lot of Scorpio, Pisces, very strong. Yeah, someone here is definitely doing some soul searching, trying to heal, trying to recover from this. In the current energy i don't know if this is you or your person but definitely a very hard time someone's going through due to the separation that you guys have here so i do see it coming back together an offer being made a new love offer here so interesting that is what i have for you guys aries if you resonate with this make sure you subscribe to my channel like share uh, leave me a comment let me know and i will talk to you guys soon Bye.